Gordon Butch Stewart's love of Jamaica started as a boy growing up in one of the island's many small villages. Uh, I mostly grew up in the in Ocheris village. At that time, it was a village, fishing village. Every house you, you go into, all the village homes, they always worry whether you, you're hungry, you need some food, sit down. In his late teens, Butch attended school in England and traveled abroad, but soon longed for home and returned to the island where he started an air conditioning company. We didn't waste any time. We became number one in air conditioning um, within 14, 15 months. And all my neighbors would tell people, you, you buy your air conditioner from Butch. But as Butch's company was excelling, the local economy was suffering, leaving him with a supply problem. So we couldn't get our hands on the US dollars to buy the equipment that we needed. And by then, we had developed a sizable business. But it takes money to make it work. Butch figured the best way to draw American money was with American tourists. So he bought a small beachfront hotel in Montego Bay, Jamaica. We bought this, it was 99 bedrooms. About six months, refurbishing, redoing, very primitive. We finished a bedroom. And somebody said, so what color do we paint? Paint it. Cream. I right, cream it. We paint it cream. That was our interior design. The location had a lot going for it. Pristine beaches, an authentic island experience, but even the negatives, like the noise from the airport next door, Butch turned into a positive. It was close to the airport. And the planes in those days made a lot of noise. So we came up with Wave to them, kiss you on your love, and he said goodbye to the folks that are just leaving. He had the location, but Butch knew what would truly set him apart was the very same thing that made his original business a success. Service, attitude, smile, make people feel comfortable. You treat them as honored guests. And anything that they need that's professional, you do it. And Butch meant anything. Six months later, he opened Sandals Montego Bay, the island's first truly all-inclusive resort. And while business was booming, it wasn't an outright success. First, we lost a lot of money from starting. And then when the hotel started filling up with 99 bedrooms, we realized that our break-even was like 105%. We didn't have enough bedrooms to overcome the overheads that we kept building in. Unwilling to sacrifice service, Butch simply set out to build more rooms, and with them, more amenities. From being the first to offer swim up poolside bars, to hair dryers installed in every bathroom. Butch was constantly innovating, but his secret weapon may have very well been the locals who worked there. Jamaicans have big, big hearts. The personality, the attitude, the mentality, but well, we get motivated from the guests being happy. The key about the growth and the success is about three, I would say three components. The people, the product, and the service. From day one, we stick to that basic up until today, and we consistently provide. But that same dedication to excellence the locals have for Sandals, Butch and his family have in return for them. At the heart of it all is giving back which led to the creation of the Sandals Foundation. So the Sandals Foundation was born 10 years ago, um, 2009, and it really came out of the Stuart's thrust to do more in the communities. Work in the communities through health, through youth, through protecting our environment, and they felt that there was so much more that we could do through our guests and through our team members. They started this company small, but the employees and the communities have always been a major focus to them. Sandals has exploded, and with the birth of their sister resorts, Beaches Resorts, the brand has grown to 18 resorts across seven islands, all built on the same principles that started Sandals Montego Bay. We always focus on being ahead of our competitors. It's all about knowing what travelers need. We are the leading luxury resort in the Caribbean. I'm very, very humbled to be able to be the leader of the all-inclusive set. And I think, I think these days when you travel worldwide, 
the standard disciples. It's easy to see how Sandals and their family resorts beaches have set a new standard across the world, made up of service, community, and a little something we all could use more of. It's all about love. Love is all you need.